Boop, boop, boop. Bring in, in, in. All right, so I am super excited to play this game, Drew. You have no idea how much I love Shovel Knight. Mm. Hence why I only amiibo. Mm. Shovel Knight's fucking awesome. I'd say it was a waste of an amiibo, seeing as you didn't buy it for the Wii U. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm just saying, it's like... I, I bought the amiibo so it can sit next to my other, like, 11 Super Smash Bros. amiibos, because Shovel Knight should have won the ballot. Alright, we're gonna start a new adventure. And we're mm. gonna start it on... What number should we start it on? Two. Not two, alright, two. I am the one that is playing. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm so weak. Oh. This is me now. Oh, you played for five hours and you're almost done? It's not that long. Oh, that sucks. It's got I a lot of... $15 for a $5, five hour Shh. game? Story. Uh, it has a lot of replay value. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary, legendary adventurers. adventurers. All, All of heroes, heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But, but their, their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shovel Knight was gone. Oh, we both fucked you up. We both no, no, you... that Shovel Knight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude, digging the herbs and crops of his garden. <laughs> But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. Quarter! <laughs> Quarter! I thought the T was an L. Now the tower is unsealed, and the devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Oh, we both added the before devastation. Did we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we fucked that slam up. Uh, All right, so this game is pretty awesome in that it it hops right in with a level that's fairly easy. I assume it's a lot better than Mega Man because Mega Man is just like ridiculously hard and not a lot of fun. Um, depends on which Mega Man you're talking. Well, about. no, I'm talking about the OG Mega Man. Oh god, the original Mega Man is horrific. Mega Man 2 is awesome, though. I like... They really fixed a lot with Mega Man 2. Mega Man 8 was fun. I played that one. No, oh, that was... That was only 7 after Mega Man 1. Yeah. <laughs> I also played Mega Man X4. A lot of people think Mega Man X is the best Mega Man, but... I like the seriousness of the Mega Man X. Yeah, it's pretty good. But yeah, it was all fun when I was a kid. I think we'll play it on the show one day. I really loved when, uh, how, uh... Like, there were certain powers that would automatically become the weakness of other bosses. Oh, every boss in Mega Man has a certain weakness. A secret here? Nope. Oh! The, wow. That, you, nobody saw that. I did not get hurt by a bubble. Like, you'd be fighting this this guy with, like, long arms, and then you... If you fought the wind guy before him and got his power, you could throw war winds at him, and then he would tangle himself up, and he would be like... WHAT HAVE YOU DONE TO ME?! Yeah, there, there's in every Mega Man game, there's an order you're supposed to fight the bosses in. Because each boss has a weakness to one of the other bosses, uh, jams. Yeah, I guess the worst part is finding the first boss to beat, knowing that it's like, you don't yeah. have his weakness. Well, before the days of the internet, people must have played, like, a shit ton of playthroughs. Yeah. And just figured it out. And they used magazines and stuff. Oh, I can't, I played Mega Man 8, like, a whole bunch of times. You had it? I had Mega Man 8, yeah, it was for the PlayStation 1. When did you have- you still have it? Probably. Ah! Fuck. Actually, I'm not sure. I played- I played the shit out of it, so maybe not. I, I know we have a Mega Man X4. I think I have Mega Man... X2 over there? Go check oh, and see shit. what that is. It's sitting on top of something. Uh, on top of the PS3 games. Right there. It's yeah. X4. Is it X4? Yeah. Noise! Yeah, somebody at work just randomly gave it to me on my oh, birthday. Shit. Yeah. It was sitting on top of the pitch with its bottom exposed. What is that? Oh, it's my sister's. <laughs> it's, it's my sister's Fellowship of the Rings thing. Alright. Alright. Yeah, All right. Can we get back to playing Shovel Knight, please? <laughs> no. Oh, you have Final Fantasy. Whoa. 
Yeah, back from the oh, steelbook. Drew, get- We're playing Shovel Knight, Drew! <laughs> Stop looking at my stuff. The first one? Okay. Drew, we're supposed, we're supposed to be playing Shovel Knight. Okay. Drew, 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 can I show you my all-time favorite thing in this game? What? What is your all-time favorite thing in this game? <laughs> the is little... that even useful? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's there for no reason whatsoever, uh, except the tea bag. Hmm. Oh, it's my favorite thing ever. I love this game so much. Hmm. Oh, shit. I can't believe See, I spent $15 on this for you. Yeah, I bought you a movie ticket. You didn't lose any money. Yeah, well, no, I kind of did. Because you, you basically paid for Shovel Knight... And I paid for a movie ticket. Oh, well, you're right. Shit. But, like, I, I, I could- I had a Regal card. Well, I, I had, like, I four of them in my wallet. I didn't know that it was a Regal Theater, okay? If I had known, it would have been a different story. Alright, so, so one thing I really like about this game is that it introduces things very well. Like, just before I got to this secret, it introduced the fact that there's I, little images on some walls, and if you hit the wall, it'll explode into a secret area. Hmm. This game's very good at... Uh, I don't know what you would consider, like, prog progression or something? I don't know. But, uh... Oh, I didn't see that. I hit that by accident. This game's really good at introducing new game mechanics in the proper way. Hmm. See, that's always good. Oh yeah, that yeah, little image that. on the wall. Yeah. Secret. And as an homage to, I'm guessing Castlevania. Turkey or chicken? I'm pretty sure that was sure. a turkey. It's too big to be a chicken. True. Wall chicken. But you then again, you it's the size of a human being. You do know what I'm talking about with the wall chicken, right? No, I don't know. You what don't you know what I'm talking about. No. In Castlevania, like you destroy random things on the wall, and it just like a chicken, a drumstick would just randomly fall out. Ah, uh, I never played Castlevania. So it was like wall chicken. Hmm. I think that's an homage to that. This game has homages to like a shit ton of stuff. It's the ultimate throwback to retro gaming. Ooh. Where you get like songs from that or something? Yeah, there's a bard in one of the towns that you go to. Oh god, I almost died. Uh, that bar in the background's fucked. Oh god. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a bard in one of the villages you go to. You see that my money, my gold count in the upper left hand corner? Yes. You use gold to buy uh, trinkets and. Various things. Oh god! Oh Jesus! Jesus Christ! Um, it sucks that you can't ever get everything. Hang on. Yeah, that's definitely. Going I can't to remember. Something. You probably reached there from the other side of the map. I think you do. I I think I remember trying to find it. Oh, there it is. Oh shit! Nice. Yeah. See. Like, there's no secrets in this game that are unfindable if you're just playing through. Like, there was no icon on that wall to destroy, <laughs> but you saw that there was a treasure chest here. <coughs> so you knew that there was a secret there, somewhere. <coughs> oh, uh, thank you. Third time to try. Still haven't watched Plastic Memories. Nope. Oh, I also finished Toradora. Fantastic! Oh my god, it was so fantastic. It, it starts off with a, like a pretty like one of the, the the poorest effort jokes I've ever seen, but like it, it gets really good. The characters get good. Shovel Knight is not used. I think I'm about to fight the first boss. Nope, nope, just another one of these guys. Can I jump on the bubbles. I can. Oh, oh god. Alright, die please. I want I want your gems, so please move. Oh, back. I guess you also get greater attack as the game progresses. No, your attack takes so no. Oh god, all those oh, oh gems. It kinda of hurts seeing them fall down the hole. Oh, it wasn't that much. Oh god damn it. No, no! Oh god. That guy like, almost kills me every time I play this section. Hmm. 
No, you get armor and you get like items. But the interesting interesting thing about this game is you don't have to get a single one of the items to beat the game. Hmm. But there's secrets for for every item, like after they're introduced. So, it benefits you to get the items greatly, but you don't have to to complete the game. Fucking slimes. It's a lot like, uh, Yis or YF. Never played. Yeah, that's, it's a pretty shitty game, huh? honestly. Don't you ever compare this to a shitty game. No, uh, it's like, you don't need the things, but like, yeah, they, they help so much that you will lose without them. Oh, it's not like that at all. My stomach is making so much noise. Are you hungry? Oh god, I heard it that time. Yeah, yeah. Oh jeez. My, my, my organs are very loud when they're when they're not satiated. TMI. <laughs> uh, I can just imagine screaming from in my pants. <laughs> oh shh. I knew you would show your face sooner or later, the cerulean, C cerulean coward. <laughs> okay, I guess you'll be Black Knight. I'll be Shovel Knight. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Can't say Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel. So, <laughs> so this is like uh, your counterpart, essentially. What was his name? Black he's a Black Knight. Black Knight. But he fights with shovels, so he's like a mirror image of you. Oh, oh. You don't fight with chicken? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would he watermelon? Dude. <laughs> oh, oh my god! True! <laughs> oh! Uh, uncool, bro. Uh. Suck it. it. And, like, you fight him multiple times throughout the game, and he gets progressively more difficult with more moves. I'm getting fucked up right now, actually. I might die. That would suck. Die on the first boss. Two, three, four. This game is really good with when it comes to bosses, where you're probably gonna die the first time you fight one. But once you learn their their patterns, it's fairly simple. Damn it! Fuck you. Hmm. Trippy. I'm alive. Is he dead? Oh yeah, I just murdered him. Oh shit. Aha! <laughs> yes! I'm alive! I'm alive! And after every level, you got one of these gems, where it's kind of like. Time to rest. What's happening? Am I dreaming? Shield Knight! Oh, goody! I must rescue her. Catch her! <laughs> <laughs> no! I got her. I love his little hand when yeah. he catches up. Oh, oh. It was all a dream. <laughs> uh, Seeing that every time. Isn't the tea bag fantastic? Oh shit. Boop. 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 Boop, 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 boop.